So we've talked about calcium homeostasis already because the endocrine system is the organ system that regulates calcium levels. I probably mentioned before, but I'll review for your view again, because it's coming up sooner now, why calcium is so important to maintain in the body. So calcium levels in the blood, this is in the plasma portion, the um, water portion of the blood, um, need to be maintained within some normal range. And that is because calcium is so critical for many physiological processes. So it's important for neurotransmitter release, Um, actually vesicle release in general, but we'll see it with neurotransmitter release in synaptic transmission, muscle contractions, and also cell signaling. So some, some types. So calcium can actually be a second messenger in the cell. And we will see that at some point. So we'll come back to these. Um, Right now, what I want you to know is it's very important to maintain normal levels of calcium in the blood. And you already know there are three organs that, that do this. Here are the three organs, the intestines that can either absorb calcium, more or less calcium from the food you eat, the kidneys, which can either make calcium go to your pee or stay in your body, in your bloodstream, reabsorption or secretion of calcium. And then there's your bone, which is going to be the focus here. These are osteoblasts that when they build bone matrix are going to take calcium out of the blood plasma. And these are osteoclasts that can break down bone matrix and release calcium into the blood. So these can regulate calcium. Oops, it went too fast there. Okay. Learning check in terms of what these organs are in this stimulus response pathway. Then we can go on to remind you of what do you think this important part is here? The parathyroid glands, which are located on the thyroid gland, on the trachea. Um, this is what the th parathyroid tissue looks like. Um, so this is the detector. So the sensor or receptor, and then the integrator or control center that's going to detect low calcium and then send a signal to those target organs. So the parathyroid glands are gonna release parathyroid hormone, PTH. Um, that is a hormonal signal that is going to target the intestine, kidney, or bone. What I would like you to do, but actually, I would like to do here is um, draw out the response to, uh, to um, hypocalcemia. Hypocalcemia, what is this? This is low calcium in the blood. So this is our stimulus. Actually, you could use that as our stimulus. This is going to target the parathyroid. Target is not the best word because it's not the target, right? It's the stimulus. This is the stimulus. This is our sensor and integrator, both. It's going to release a hormone, PTH, which is our output signal, which is going to target three different things, three targets. The three targets we just went over. All of those have a mechanism by which they increase plasma calcium, and you should know those mechanisms. Um, and then the one I want you to do for your learning check in the next, uh, in just a moment here, is draw this feedback loop specifically for bone and the specific effect that PTH has on bone and how that responds to low calcium. So here, that is the response of bone to hypocalcemia. And in that, the specific response that the cells are going to, of the bone are going to have. So be specific with the target and effector. And then the last part of this as well is what else does this output signal of this pathway also act on? 